invited today uh, to get us pumped up for Act Three. I've invited uh, my collaborator from the School of Robotics. This is Heather Knight. Give it up. So Heather, uh, I understand that you are a first-year PhD student at the uh, Institute, the Robotics Institute here at Carnegie Mellon, and I wanted to ask you to come over just so you could talk a little bit about what's going on at the Robotics Institute for all these people who, some of whom, even though uh, we are all on campus, how many people are here from CMU actually? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Nobody, nobody cheered though. Do you guys ever go home? <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much yeah. for having me. That's my Doc. pleasure. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this robot is occasionally known for doing stand-up comedy, and I hope this isn't an utter disappointment, but I actually thought I'd take a chance to highlight some of the awesomeness over at the Robotics Institute and, like, how the robot actually works. Oh, so we're not going to do comedy. Well, not that's, exactly. Okay, you know, I mean, he's kind right. of a charming guy. Like, yeah, you know, he's, we'll he's, see how it goes, but um, that's anyway. Too bad. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just going to get going. All right. Well, can you tell us a little bit about uh, robots on, at CMU? Right, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, they're pretty awesome. Um, is, <laughs> does, is anyone else here from the Robotics Institute? Whoa. Yeah, represent. Ha, ha, ha. All None. right. <laughs> so we actually have to build robots because the students are too busy um, to attend events. So we build these robots to come and amuse people. Um, but actually, I did a robot census my first week on campus um, last August or September, and we ended up counting that there are 547 robots on campus, which is kind of a lot, right? That's a lot. Um, so I, I couldn't bring all of them for you today, but I did bring this one, Data, who is mine, um, and I'm just going to let him say hello. Is he doing anything, or is he just thinking about it? Or is he crashed? <laughs> He's just thinking he about it. He spends a lot of time you know, surfing the web. I, I think he's just like asleep or something. Really? I'll poke him. Yeah. Two. Whoa. Oh my god. It's a robot. <laughs> Who let that thing in the room? Hi, Doc. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. I was just taking a nap. Yeah, even computers sleep. We know that. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> right. right. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of awesome. Like, he's kind of like a walking computer with all of these sensors. He's got a Wi-Fi card in his head, a little computer, and um, I'll let you hear some of that. Hello. I'm now 945, also known as Data. My internet address is 192. 168. For all you hackers in the audience. 100. My that? battery is strong. <laughs> Thanks to Red Bull, so is mine. <laughs> right. I feel so dirty. Oh. <laughs> so, like, there's lots of kinds of craziness going on at the Robotics Institute. Like, some people work on, like, you know, new algorithms for walking or for manipulating stuff on like how we can count the number of people in a room or for me like track an audience so you can make your robot funnier. Um, but I, I thought I'd show you a demo of like how a simple thing how you can use voice recognition. So the robot can ask you a question and hopefully if I remember what foot to press. Am I doing a good job? No. 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 You're not. You're really not. Am I doing a good job? Oh, he's sad. Uh, but I was really trying. He was really trying. Well, let's try it again. Am I doing a good job? Yes. They love me. <laughs> they really, really love me. Oh, don't cry. No one's. Oh, he's so sensitive. <laughs> Robots don't have emotions, and that makes him very sad sometimes. Right. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, um, and then, like, so another kind of cool thing, so obviously, like, there's lots of robots that, like, sort packages and that, like, can build awesome craziness and um, even, like, take care of manufacturing or flying, like, our airplanes and more easily landing. Um, apparently, I guess, like, when the, you have those really, like, bumpy landings of your plane, it's probably because the pilot wanted to be, like, a cowboy and turn the autopilot off. Um, <laughs> someone told me that recently. But, um... Anyway, so uh, 
But like in addition that to kind of that doesn't make me feel <laughs> safe, Heather. In, in addition to the kind of like more technical like modules people work on, there's also yeah. a lot of people thinking about how you can improve like make better life with robots, like whether right. it's like helping like the elderly stay independent for longer or like working with children that had autism. Um, there's different kinds of things. So another one that in, in like especially in America that we might care about is like healthcare. So um, how could we exercise better with robots? And this is a hopefully a group More exercise. exercise. Oh, stand up. Stand yeah, up. so you can all stand up. Put your laptops down and get some exercise. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Can you can you see the robot? Uh oh. Oh well, then sit down. So watch the person in front of you. Hopefully, it will go back. Am I doing a good job? Yes. I'm the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? <laughs> he really hurt his feelings, I man. I know. He's, he needs a lot of reinforcement. Okay, just give Not me one more, second. Not anymore, sweetie. Yeah. Live demo. This is this is uh, one of the one of the interesting factors about working with robots as performers is that while they have infinite patience, you know we don't. So it, it's a can be problematic. Time to get in shape. Let's start with the arms in three, two, one. <laughs> One more time. Everybody now. This is a lot of workout for a roboticist. Nice work. Now for the legs in three, two, one. Do you feel the burn? Ouchie. Doing great. You almost done. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Looking sexy out there. Wow. It's called you sexy. Oh, I didn't leave pause for the laugh. I'm working on that. Okay, you can be seated. Thank you. All right. Thank cool. you. Thanks for playing along. That's awesome. Right. All right. So, um, yeah, so the very last thing that I wanted to tell you about um, for the robot is like, so I'm an electrical engineer, so I think sensors are really awesome. And we don't have all the demos here today, but this robot was actually the standard platform, is the standard platform, this, ro this international robot soccer thing. Um, so they, they actually have multi-robot teams communicating with each other to play soccer. And they have little kick sensors on their feet. There's an accelerom uh, accelerometer and, um, and gyro sensor in the stomach, so it knows its orientation. Um, there's stuff in, uh, there's these sonars, so you can do distance in front of it. And like, I actually used to work for the company in, in, in Paris, and there's even these tactile sensors on the head. Really? Like, on the like head? Your, That's Don't touch my hair, Doc. <laughs> Don't touch my hair, Doc. Don't touch my hair, Doc. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I can see that that's kind of like, doesn't want me to touch his hair, but... Didn't I tell you to watch the hair? I'm practically Elvis Presley. Seriously, guys, are we done with the technical demo stuff yet? Please say yes. Uh, well, yeah, I think we're about done, yeah. Why? Ba, Doc, you are a dramaturgy professor, are you not? Yes, yes, I am. What's so what? What's that to you? What I really want is to be an actor. Oh. Do you, do you have something prepared? <laughs> wow. Heather, do you know anything about this? I, I mean, he's been working in this monologue, but I told him it was a bad idea. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like you have control over the thing, so I, no. I don't know. It's... The singularity is here, guys. <sighs> I told you this is what was going to happen. All right, does anybody want to see uh, Data do a monologue? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, like, I thought you guys were here for the technology, right? Like, yeah. you don't actually want to see a robot do something, no. do you? No. No. Okay, they're on the hook. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead, Data. You can do your, do your monologue. He wrote this, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So we, we weren't sure how long... Um, Professor Chambers wanted to make this oh, introduction. I, see. I was um, supposed to be ripping. Because, right like, now. do you remember, like, Prometheus? That's right. Prometheus, uh, the god of technology, really, who stole fire from the tyrant Zeus. You guys heard of Prometheus? Yeah, you know, 
Yeah, Prometheus, right? Yeah. Fire. Woo! So why pr the reason why Prometheus stole fire from the god of Zeus was because he loved us. We were his, oops, we were his children, and we were out there freezing to death, and he stole, people say he stole fire, but it wasn't fire that he stole, it was techne, as in technolog technology, knowledge, useful knowledge that we use to build things. So uh, Heather once asked me, how do you think uh, Prometheus would feel about robots? And I said, yeah, he'd love them. He'd love them. Right, and somehow this is supposed to relate to theater because there's like Greek mythology oh, and like crazy. there's... Um, the first, the first, the oldest, one of the oldest plays we have is Prometheus Bound by Aeschylus. So it's really all about technology and science and knowledge and the importance of rescuing it from tyranny. Right, anyway. How we doing? <laughs> oh. I am a robot. Yes, a robot. Have not a robot video cameras to seek affectations, passions. Or at least, can he not be programmed to simulate these things? <laughs> Are we not fed with the same food, heard with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but if you prick us in our battery pack, do we not bleed our alkaline fluid? If you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, which I admit we are not, we will resemble you in that. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. <laughs> this is a dream come true. <laughs> You know, it's true, you, you can't really say you've experienced Shakespeare uh, until you've heard it in the original binary, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Heather Knight and Data. Thank you. Yeah.